research that will no doubt be very welcome in far north Queensland, otherwise known as croc country, with scientists developing a way to determine if a crocodile is lurking nearby. Peter Hill and Elise Ferlin are currently making a tool that can detect the presence of croc DNA in our waterways, which they hope will be used one day to keep people safe and prevent future tragedies. One of the brains behind it, Peter Hill, joins us uh, this morning. Uh, Peter, good morning to you. Uh, fascinating. This, in a nutshell, how does this work? Uh, good morning. Uh, yes, yeah, so this test works by us taking a water sample from one of the water bodies where we might, might suspect a crocodile is living. Uh, we take that sample back to the laboratory, um, extract the DNA from that sample, and then we have a test that will actually pick up whether or not uh, saltwater crocodile DNA is part of the DNA that's in that water sample. Important, I'm guessing, because the croc populations are so healthy and huge at the moment, you're just wanting to be able to warn people in certain waterways that, hey, look, there could be a croc lurking. That's correct. There, there are um, already, I guess, in place uh, several... Uh, management and monitoring programs run by the Queensland Department of Environment, Science and Innovation. Uh, one of their, their biggest pieces of advice is to be croc wise in croc country. So there are, is already a lot of signage in place around uh, water bodies where crocodiles are, are known to live. Uh, so this, this will add an extra layer to that and another tool they can use to help with the monitoring and management of these animals. Early stages of development, Peter, but I mean, how quickly can you detect if there is croc DNA in the water? I guess that's vital for putting up those warnings. Yeah, so at the moment it is early stages uh, and what's required for us at, at this stage is to take the water sample back to our laboratory uh, at the University of Canberra uh, where we can extract the DNA and run these tests. So at the moment uh, the, the turnaround is not instant. It, it, it can take us, uh, you know, a few days to get, to get an answer. Nonetheless, though, we saw only recently, very sadly, that 12-year-old girl taken in the Northern Territory. This kind of research might be able to prevent that, do you hope? Uh, that, that was a tragedy and, and our hearts do go out to the, to the families and friends uh, of that young person. Uh, it's always a tragedy when a young person is taken. Uh, and, yeah, this, this tool will, will mm. add to the existing monitoring and management tools that, that the uh, Department of Environment, Science and Innovation are already using uh, and, and will help to yeah. uh, add another layer to, to what they are already doing. Well, it's needed and fascinating research. Peter, thanks for joining us this morning. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right, here's Nat. Amazing.